everybody has a dream to construct their own house but the problem is they have to construct their own house within the estimated budget the construction material cost and the labor cost are getting increasing day by day so that create a question that whether we can construct the building within the estimated budget or not to overcome these problems there are many new materials available in the market which can be used to construct the building within the estimated budget hey friends welcome back to civil engineering mastery in this video we are going to discuss about one of the construction material that is interlocking brick let's look into the technical details and what are all the advantages and disadvantages we have in this interlocking brick so without further delay let's begin now as the name suggests the interlocks bricks are connected with each other it has the provision to connect the one brick to the other brick the shape of the interlocking brick looks different from the normal bricks it has the depression area and it has the projection area this depression area and projection area helps to connect the bricks with one another interlock the bricks with one another there are different sizes of interlocking bricks are available in the market the length and height of the brick will remain same 12 inches and 5 inches whereas we have different width 6 inches 8 inches and 9 inches when we lay the bricks it connect automatically since it has the projection area and depression area to make this connection more stronger we use cement mortar the cement mortar enhances the bonding between these interlocking bricks there are two types of interlocking bricks are available in the market one is cement block another one is mud block the cement blocks are most widely available in the market whereas the mud blocks are rarely available in the market these blocks are manufactured with the help of the compression machine in that raw material needs to be filled and then high compressive load needs to be applied and the raw material will be compressed and finally we get the desired shape and size of the interlocking bricks once it is manufactured the bricks needs to be cured up to 7 to 10 days since this interlocking bricks are having the smooth surface and it is connected with each other there is no need of plastering in the interlocking brick walls if we want we can do it in the inner plastering but outside there is no need of plastering when you use mud interlocking blocks the heat will be reduced inside the building when compared to the normal brick this mud interlocking bricks has the capacity to reduce the heat inside the house we can save construction time if we use this interlocking bricks for example if we construct building within 6 months by using the normal bricks we can complete that building within 3 to 4 months by using this interlocking bricks the cost of the construction can be reduced by using this interlocking bricks when compared to the normal bricks since we don't need to do the plastering in interlocking bricks and then we can construct the building with less number of laborers the manufacturing cost of the interlocking brick is 35% less than the normal brick so these all together can saves the construction cost of the building in addition to the these interlocking bricks are used in the earthquake resistant structures when we use normal bricks in the earthquake resistant structure we may get crack between the joints of the bricks due to the vibration that may lead to the entire collapse of the brick structure since these interlocking bricks are connected with each other it has the higher resistant capacity to the vibration these interlocking bricks are environmental friendly and eco friendly since it reduces the heat inside the building and also the concrete and mortar which are used to make this kind of interlocking buildings are very less so it is eco friendly and also environmental friendly the labor required to construct this kind of interlocking buildings are very less when compared to the normal brick construction another major advantage in this interlocking brick is we can demolish the building without any damage to this brick we can take out the bricks without any damage at least 90% of the bricks can be taken out without any damage because we use very less cement mortar to connect the bricks so that while demolishing the building we can take out the bricks without any damage and the interlocking bricks can be reused though these interlocking bricks has many advantages it has few disadvantages as well Let's look into the disadvantages of this interlocking bricks. First one is plastering since 
the plastering is not required in this interlocking bricks it is not recommended to use in the heavy rain areas and water leakage areas because the water will get penetrated inside the walls and that create damage to the building so it is not recommended to use these interlock bricks in the heavy rain areas these interlocking bricks are prone to the termite problem so proper anti termite remedies needs to be provided when we use these kind of interlocking bricks this interlocking bricks can be used up to g plus 2 structure if we construct a load bearing structure if we go for a high rise building like g plus 4 g plus 5 g plus 6 and all this interlocking bricks cannot be used another major disadvantage in this interlocking brick is we need to plan the door position window position electrical and plumbing lines prior to the construction once the building is constructed we cannot make the any alterations easily as we do in the normal brick construction so friends i hope you all like this video hit the like button and also turn on the notifications and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching